1966. I went down to Greenwich Village, New York City, to a rock club called the Electric Banana. Don't look for it. It's not there anymore. But that night, I heard a band that, for me, redefined the word rock and roll. I remember being knocked out by their, their exuberance, their raw power, and their punctuality. That band was Britain's now legendary Spinal Tap. 17 years and 15 albums later, Spinal Tap is still going strong. And they've earned a distinguished place in rock history as one of England's loudest bands. Uh, talk a little bit about the history of the group. I understand, Nigel, you and David originally started the band uh, back in, when was it, 1964? Well, before that, we were in different groups. I was in a group called The Creatures, which was a skiffle group. I was in Lovely Lads. Yeah. And then we looked at each other and said, so well, no, we might as not? well join up, you know. And, uh... So we became uh, the originals. Right. And uh, we had to change our name, actually. Well, there's, uh, a, there's another group in the East End called The Originals, and uh, we had to rename ourselves and the new original new originals yeah. and then uh, they became the regulars they changed their name back to the regulars and we thought well we could we could go back to the originals about what's the point and we became the Thamesmen at that point <laughs>